At Primary Residential Mortgage, you can purchase a new home with a low interest rate and a small down payment for less than you're paying in rent. Primary Residential Mortgage, the home of the American dream. Signal 65, resident at 5 Mainland Road is reporting her daughter went out for a run at 1830 hours and no one can find her. She got a text from the daughter at 2013 with a message that said the daughter was scared. Don't know where she is. Okay, Red One, did we get a name? First name is Kylie. She was wearing a pink long sleeve t shirt that said Ludlow Field Hockey. Black leggings, blue sneakers. She has blonde hair, born in 98. The mother's reporting that another family member is now on the phone with Kylie, who said she's with an unknown male at Fairfield University, somewhere on campus, and the male made her cut her face. Fairfield, this is probably an abduction. Let's get some more cars over here. Blue five, red five. Kevin, what's your exact location? The uh, upper field or the lower one? Between the football field and the lacrosse field. Wait for it. What are we looking for, do you know? So far, all we have is a male, white male. Stand by, we're trying to get more info, but uh, apparently grabbed her and brought her into the woods. Between College Park and the lacrosse field. There's an all-black clothing with a mask. All-black clothing with a mask, white male. L1's responding to fear for you. Just to confirm, we have the victim recovered? Victim, yes. Red 4, what was the last known uh, location of the suspect? The turf across field, which is behind the soccer field, there's a wooded area between the field and a residential area that wooded area where the suspect was last seen. That is College Park. Red one at T5, no ripped clothing, was armed with a razor blade. We're not tracking at this time, we're going to be doing area searches along uh, College Park and the University border. Okay. Has Fairfield, you been able to pull up any cameras? I'll check. Fairfield or Red 4? Security checked the one camera that they believe is in that exact area and the camera is broken. They're going to check others. I'm not sure who's on perimeter, but they can clear who's on track. We have an assault victim, a female lying on the ground in the parking lot of 525 Tumsis Hill cut off near Chips. Passerby went up to her and she said she was beaten up. She's near the ATM. L1 to Fairfield, just be alive. All units are going to be clear from Fairfield Buell. Okay, the uh, caller for this CHIPS incident is still on the phone, said while she was on the phone with us, the vehicle pulled into the lot. A male picked the female victim up by the arm, threw her into the car, and drove off south on Tunks' tail toward Cole. Gave us a plate. Comes back on a 99 Buick Regal four-door can. We're still on the phone with the complainant in the lot. A little more information. There's a black female victim, had a bloody nose. Hispanic male driving, there was a baby in the back of the car. Not so sure about this plate now. It comes back to a tan Buick and the caller is saying it was dark blue or black. Blue one, sir. Blue one. Update from a second wit. Two subjects in a small blue Toyota Corolla. One got out and assaulted the female in a separate vehicle. Both vehicles departed upon arrival. Okay. The victim should be on her own. She left on her own power. Blue five, uh, blue one. My complaint is telling me she was put in the passenger seat and driven away. two males in the other car, according to our wit, uh, both separated and left. 
We we'll find a blue one. I think the second vehicle with the two females is uh, complaining over here. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking for a blue Toyota Corolla. Unknown plate. About a 2000. Yeah, with a uh, baby and a uh, car seat in the back seat.